my live? I can't see. <laughs> Hi, I guess I'm live. <laughs> well, Amina here with Water Corp by Faye. How are y'all doing? I'm just going to try to find it on here. That's why I came on a couple minutes early. Here we go. I found it. I got it right there. Thank you. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Um, it is rainy and nasty and icky here in Virginia Beach. So it's the perfect day to make pretties. <laughs> Today we're going to make an ice cream wreath. I've had this prepped forever. And then um, my son got sick with pneumonia in both lungs. So it's been a little crazy out here. He, I thank everybody for their prayers. Um, he's had a lot of people praying for him. He's getting better. He's been home since uh, last Sunday and even started going back to work again. So thank you, God. He's um, doing good. I'm just going to see if I can see any. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to use this ice cream sign. This is from my shop, Wild Decor by Faye. We have tons of signs to choose them from, and we also do custom orders. So if you are in need of a sign, just let me know. So this is what I have in mind, and I have lots of goodies to put in. About, I want to say two, two and a half years ago, um, I went to my sister. She lives in Washington State, and we went to the pet store. <laughs> And so, yeah, I got a little overzealous and I bought a whole big thing <laughs> of doggy toys. And so I'm like, I know one day I'm going to make like a birthday wreath or something. So I have like tons of goodies to put in there. So um, I knew, I knew it would come in handy one day. So those are the fixings we're going to put in. I have a few more things here. I have some ornaments. And this is my new setup, y'all. Look how big my table is. And it's taller, so I have to stand up. And that's what I wanted because sitting down makes me slow down. Well, and they say that standing up makes you work faster. So we'll see. <laughs> Hasn't yet, but that is the um, consensus. And I, I can't see any comments down here. Swipe left to reveal comments. Okay. So I hope there's some comments. <laughs> hi, Lisa. Hi. I can barely see so if I'm squinting. And my dog's underneath the table. So she's having a mama day. I can't see any comments on my um, tablet here, y'all. None. But look at all this room I have. It's so fabulous. What we ended up doing, I had this whole thing set up, right? And I posted it and everything. What we're gonna do well we didn't um buy the plans for it so we thought we would just do what we saw on our own and these i don't know if you can see these behind me well these were supposed to be on either side right underneath and we got a, a countertop this is a countertop y'all and we had them underneath each side well it came to about here on me <laughs> i wanted it taller but not that tall so we and that's why i ended up putting all my mesh in there and then what we did was put those bed risers underneath my table and put the countertop on top of my table. So now I have all this room. It's still a little higher. And if the standing up thing does not work out for me, then I can take the risers off. Because when I put my easel on here, it's too tall. I can't get to the top part. So, yeah. And <laughs> now that y'all know my whole life story. Okay. I put this, I put these on the back. So I made it oval, but that way I can remember which way to put the sign because, you know, I can't begin to tell you. So this is the sign we're going to use just in case you just hopped on. This is from my shop, Wild Decor by Faye, and um, we have tons of signs and we do custom signs. So I'm going to poke some holes in it with this um, beadsmith and then we'll go ahead and attach. All I did was... Um, I have, this is 21 inch mesh, the brown, and all the rest are 10 inch meshes. And so I, with the 21 inch mesh, I did the, um, the Megan method. If you know Megan with the gal versus glue gun, she has what she calls the bat method. 
<laughs> that it works really good. It's a super good filler and it makes everything nice and sturdy in your wreath. I'm just trying to, I just drank a little caffeine so my hands a little shaky. <laughs> I can eat it though, y'all. I was kind of creeping out. I had a seven o'clock class this morning and it's been pouring rain. And I don't know about you, but it makes me a little tired and uh, don't feel like doing anything. But it is the perfect day to design. Y'all, I can't see any comments. So you're just going to hear me babble to myself, basically. Oh, yay. I see him. <laughs> Hi, Don. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, that's, I need to, please, please sprinkle. I'm just over 4,000. I'm slowly but surely inching my way. I really, really, really want to make it to 5,000 before the year's over. <laughs> that's how slowly it's going. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I'm just, um, I have this floral wire in here and I'm just going to twist it and twist it. So everybody have plans for this weekend? I, we, unfortunately, not really unfortunately, but anyway, we have to, um, take apart my little booth in the painted tree this weekend because my lease is up they do leases by the year and um, it just wasn't profitable enough for me they're doing a lot of construction work in that area and it's a real pain in the took us to get to and they weren't doing a whole lot of they were expect I don't know what they were expecting but they weren't doing a whole lot of advertising so people didn't know about it unless I guess we had word of mouth or spread it on um, social media so it just, it just, um, I don't know, just didn't work out. So where God open, closes one door, right? He opens a window. I'm excited to see what window, what's behind that window. I really am. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be good because like, you know, for the holiday, you know, our fourth quarter was, was pretty good, but not enough to make up for the rest of the year. Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm so glad you all are on. I'm so bad at going live, y'all. I must admit, unless I'm committed, like, like now to in this group, the Friday fun day with crafty gals, girls, gals. Um, I I find excuses not to go live. I'm so bad, but once I start going live, I'm okay. I don't know what it is. Just I don't know what it is because I can I sit there. I do take a while to make wreaths, y'all. I won't lie if I'm not going live. So I honestly should, because I do have two more shows left this season. And then um, I have a new friend that I met and she is, she loves my wreaths a lot. So she's gonna throw a party for me. I just heard something beep, what's that? Oh, the Mebo. <laughs> it won't seem to work. But anyway, she's gonna throw a party for me in July and invite a bunch of her women friends. And I'm going to bring my recent centerpieces and stuff. We're going to have a Christmas in July at her house. So I'm super stoked. So that is why I can't go to Crafters Convention and am trying to sell a ticket. And I'm going to sell it at a good price, y'all. So if anybody wants to go to the Crafters Convention, PM me. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. So we've got um, this all hooked up and ready to go in. I'm going to put it up here kind of. Higher, cause I had I made a bow. I made a bow, and it's been sitting here waiting for me to use it for a couple weeks. I have this um, Ferris silk ice cream cone, and see, I had bought that a couple years ago too, and knew I was gonna use it, but didn't know when. And you know, you know how that goes. I know y'all do. <laughs> Hi, little treasure. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling. Hi, Sam. Thanks so much, y'all. Be sure to sprinkle. Yes, yes, yes. That helps. So much. Well, I know y'all know. So that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in. Um, I made this on an evergreen base. And that's one reason I'm really gl glad that um, Hobby Lobby is getting their Christmas out. Because <laughs> I've been looking online to order some more. And uh -uh, I couldn't find them online. So... Um, keep checking back and my Hobby Lobby only has the 30 inch ones which are way too big and they're $28 um so 
we if we drive like 50 minutes south to North Carolina, um, there's a Hobby Lobby that gets stuff out a lot sooner than we do. I might have tied that too tight. Um, so we drove down there the other day. If you know my husband at all, he loves to go on drives. So I'm like, you want to go to North Carolina? Because <laughs> I tease him all the time. And I'll go, let's go to North Carolina. And then when we're ready to go, I'm like, no, nah, let's not go. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we went the other day. But they had less Christmas out than we did at this one, which I was really surprised. But anyway, what you can do. <laughs> I had three left. Three. I have some flocked ones, but not green ones. And I really don't want to use my flocked ones yet. What are y'all doing this weekend? Like I said, we're doing the moving thing. Well, and I got very blessed that um, someone wants my wants to take over my booth. So um, I, we don't have to pick up the you know take off the flooring because we had put flooring in there and painted the walls like a super light pink. I mean, like really pale pink. So it was really pretty. It looked beachy because the flooring looks kind of beachy, wood flooring. And they want it. So all we had to do was take my stuff out of there and fill in the holes. So that's it. Thank you, God. Because we were looking at the whole weekend. I went, oh. But we don't. So, yay. <laughs> what a blessing. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get through all these ties so I've been making a, are y'all working on Halloween and fall already because I mean I love it but I still have so much summertime I want to make I know because soon enough we're going to be making Christmas and all that all the time I do have some um I have been ordering for Halloween though <laughs> yes I have because they every year they come out with cuter and cuter stuff it's horrible because I really, really, really have been trying to use the stuff that I have because I'm such an overbuyer. I'm such the impulse shopper. It's horrible. Now I see comments. Hello, Jan Cook. How are you? The little watermelon thingies were really cute. It's like Rice Krispie treats or something. They were super cute. We are making a wreath. Surprise! <laughs> I'm trying so hard to start doing more of my um, cake bakes because I watch all I PM and all y'all and um, I just I'm not ready to do them a lot but right before the live came on I did sell one of my tubs of popcorn because I sell it like I was I started to sell it as not a kit but a pair I paired it up with the sign well I kept getting messages well how much is it without the sign how much but there we go I think I put it in the right spot um, how much is it without sign? Ugh. So I finally just listed it with or without. And I got an order for without. So I have two tubs of popcorn in there. One solid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. And it, it's not too bad. It's not too tight. Because then, the, you know, these metal signs, if you put them on too tight, they kind of bow and it looks poopy. <gasps> Gene Bunker, hi! Oh, I, ta I told Steve where you are. And, um... We're making plans, girlfriend. I'm telling you, we are making plans because we really, really want to go up there. So don't be surprised. I have your number. Okay, we're going to put this right about here. If it covers up the sign a little bit, it's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Right? Now, this is the worst part of the of the, oh, I also have some donuts over there. Squirrel. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. I wonder myself. Okay, I'm going to have to flip this over because I can't find the other wire. And then I'm going to squish my boobs. I feel a wire, but it's the wire from the sign. Oh, have mercy. No wonder I can't. Oh, man. It's going to take me an hour just to put this dang bow on. Glad I made it already. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> A day in the life. I'm telling you. I can't 
can't believe the Noelle's, I don't think she likes the rain much. She's, she's a retriever too, so she should like the water, but she does not like going for walks in the rain at all. Did you see my post earlier? I posted um, some geese and their little babies. They're all over our complex, it's so cool. Now it is a law here in Virginia, you have to stop and wait, you know, let the geese go on by and off the cars, you know, and everything. But it's so cute, I love this time of year. With all the little babies. And then the little turtles are coming out finally too. I did not know this. My girlfriend Gail told me that turtles hibernate. I did not know that. So it's kind of loose and it's kind of jiggly. I'll probably glue it. Oh, oh did y'all see my pink glue pot? I got a pink glue pot. And now I found out that Walmart has a pink glue gun too. Look, I'm going to see if I can lift it up. It's by Sherbonder, but it's from, you ever heard of um, Grace Monroe Home? See? Oh, look at that. I was so excited. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Hi, Maria. How are you? <laughs> I'm Wilhelmina with Walter Corbacher. If y'all please sprinkle. I'm trying to get my numbers up. <laughs> I really need to. I've been stuck. I was stuck in the upper 3,000s forever and a day. Okay, okay, okay. So now I got tons and tons. Look at these balls, aren't they pretty? These have feathers in it, so I don't think I'll use those, but I might use these. And then I have some donuts. I got these at like Target probably three years ago. Ansi Pants, I don't even think Ansi Pants is still around because um, they did um, felt hot dogs too. These are felt. Thank you. Um, but I have two packs of these. And this this uh, powdered donut really looks real, y'all. It looks powdery. It looks really good. I keep wanting to check my fingers. <laughs> but look at, they're so cute. So I got some of those. I think we'll start with my big bag of tricks, y'all. <laughs> I had to carry this home on the plane with me. <laughs> People were looking at me like I was a nut. So this sign I just fell in love with. I do have some cherries too, and I was thinking maybe I'll put some cherries in it. Not sure yet. But let's start with these. Yeah? I get squirreled super easy. For those of you who don't know me. <laughs> and then look, it's got, there's a cupcake too. So much cute stuff. And then I have some, um, oh, look, 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 look. Reminds me of that commercial. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> I have these two. So I've got some marshmallows and some little dojobbies. Probably cut that up, more than likely. And, um, give it a, give it a whirl. I made the cutest, the cutest strawberry wreath. Uh, it was a custom order and I finished it yesterday. And I told the, she's one of my regular customers and it's for her daughter. Her daughter wanted it. And hi, Pam. And um, these goodies I got in Washington state from a pet store. Yeah. Um, when I went to go um, help my sister out a couple of years ago. So she was feeling better and we went to the, cause she has a dog too. I can't ever remember what kind of dog he is, but he's really cute. His name is Max. And um, um, so we went to the pet store and I saw these there and I bought like a whole ton of them. I'm like, <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, cause we had made a birthday sign. So I'm like, oh, we'll make a birthday wreath. And I never did. Well, never say never, but I knew I would use them. I mean, y'all, <laughs> this bag is never ending. And then um, I have these little guys too here. And I have some of these. What's left of this? That's all I have left of that. And I also have a bigger um, a bigger donut pick. But I don't know if I'm going to use these. I think I'm going to save this one. Because those are kind of big. And that hole is just really huge. I don't know. And then I have some of these balls that I made too. So, no. <laughs> I usually make these 
you know, this chenille yarn. I make the smaller lollies and balls sets, you know. Um, <laughs> so I thought for this, I'd make bigger ones. Look at this. <laughs> and so I tried to put it in. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> so I got, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might just make big lollies out of them and put them in my, on my mantle or something. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> Me and size perception don't really get along well. So I think I want to use these. I really like these pink balls. But <laughs> these ones with the feathers, I could use those for a flamingo wreath, right? Because see, they're so super pretty. Can you see that feathers in there? Super pretty. And I think they, I don't know. I think they might have been Hobby Lobby, but it doesn't say Hobby Lobby on the sticker. SY Super Bang. No, I ordered them online. I did, yes, because I was looking and looking and looking for pink. Um, balls last season, last Christmas season, so that's where I got them. Can I not? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's my husband. <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> My number one fan. So I think I'm gonna just cut, well for now, I'm just gonna cut these like this in little sets of three. Like this. Yeah, I think that, um, that pink glue gun, in fact, I know it is, is, um, it's from Walmart. I have it in my car at Walmart. Um, it's got a battery, though, so it's cordless. I, I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews on batteries, so. The colors are good, aren't they? You know, they're the pink, so, you know. You know, I'm super happy. There's no guessing what my favorite color. <laughs> oh. Oh, this, I think this will be really cute. We will put some, um, once I put these in, I'll see if it needs some tails. I left these ribbons up here to um, make tails with. Because this, the pink stripe kind of reminded me of the, well, it's a green stripe on there, but I didn't have a green stripe. Well, I do, I really do, because I see I have this. So, we might. But I have this fair silk um, ice cream cone. I've had it forever forever so finally using it I'm really seriously trying to use and if you look around my room you would know I don't need another roll of ribbon but you know that rule if you use one ribbon you buy three new ones I try to tell my husband <laughs> yeah he wasn't buying it wasn't picking up what I was putting down yeah I used I don't even remember what I used the rest of these macarons on, but I used them. So we're just cutting up all these. I have a lot of picks over there that are like half used, so they're getting used up all summer long. Just so maybe I'll put these in first. Oh, yeah. Nothing like being indecisive. But I love this pink glue pot. <laughs> When I saw it, I'm like, oh, I must have it. I think I want to put this in by the bow. Right about there. I love, love, love this. Love it. So, like, what are y'all working on? You still working on summer stuff? Because I love working. I always, when it's, when Christmas is just about over, I'm like, oh, I still want to work on Christmas. But then Valentine's Day and I love hearts. So then I get super excited about Valentine's Day and then I don't want Valentine's Day to be done. And you know, you know. <laughs> I am going to, I think I'm gonna, I don't know whether to use a dowel or wire. I think I'm gonna use some wire. To help hold it in. So I just use my um, beadsmith and make a hole. So thanks for joining the Friday, fun Friday 
with the crafting girl. <laughs> Up next after me is young Oma Cece, our local resin queen. So I don't know what she's gonna be making today, but she comes on at two. So if I'm not done by two, I'm gonna continue because um, we upload my videos to YouTube. So I'm gonna continue till I'm done. But I'm really trying to finish. I got 35 minutes, so should be good. Now I'm just I put I put the wire through both the little holes, and then I'll glue it so the uh, material won't rip. Oh, we got donuts too. I got donuts too, y'all. See, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to put that piece of cake in there because it's got a birthday candle on it. So I don't know. It's not like I don't have plenty of other um, ice creams. My just ice creams and donuts. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to save my cake pieces just because they have. Oh, 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 y'all, y'all, gotta show you too. I have these little bitty, bitty ones. They are so cute. I found them at TJ Maxx. Look at these. They're little bitty. Well, compared to these, look. <laughs> so I can stick those in where there's any holes. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> I know, when I was cutting, because I was cutting the tags off, and um, Noelle was in here with me, and she was checking. She's like, Mom, aren't those for me? I think those are for me, because one of them would squeak. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm teasing you, but Mama's using this. These I think I'm just going to glue in. I'm gonna, um, going to go into... I love how they did these. They're so good. Um, sorry, didn't mean to say that. I'm going to put wire in these just because they're bigger. I should, probably should have cut my wire before I poked the hole, but it's okay. Why would I do that? Just for some added stability. I've made a couple of patriotic. I have to make a um, patriotic garland for around the door of the mother of the daughter whose strawberry wreath I just finished. So I have to make her a patriotic wreath and a garland. So, and then I have to make a, um, a mermaid wreath. So thank God for custom orders, for real. And I have fabulous customers because they let me just do. They're like, oh, I have to just do which one. Love, love, love that. So I try to find the seam or where the tag was. I know, all these sweets. I'm like, but I'm going to use them for Christmas. So that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> um, should have cut the wire first. Now I gotta find the hole again. This, oh goodness gracious. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. So I'll just put a little glue on this and let those sit. And then I'll stick some of the other fun stuff in. Lately I've been using less ribbon, which really surprises me. I don't know, but I have been using up a lot of my um, work forms. I, I was buying work forms like crazy before we started using the evergreen bases so I had I like some in every color so I've been using those up and bringing those to my shows because they're not so big so I don't have to charge so much and then um, using the evergreens for my Etsy shop 
yeah they're harder to ship but you know once you have the sizing down it's not it just is what it is this down here i'm gonna stick this right there yeah okay well that's gonna go right up there y'all i can't get over how much space i have on my table it's fabulous it's so fabulous and gail told me she's like okay you only get seven things that stay on your table so i'm like one two three four five six well, this doesn't usually stay on my table, the tablet. So I, I kept my word. I'm like, but there's not seven things total because I have to put the stuff I'm using on my table too. So that's not fair. So where did I have that at? Up here. Do, 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 right here. I don't know why I'm whispering. Okay. I want to put the big ice cream right there. Okay. So this is going to go right about here. There we go. <laughs> These take up, they take up some, uh, why can't I think of the word? Some, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word and it's the easiest word. Yes, I'm using my new table. Yes, I am. Some <laughs> property, whatever you call it. I can't can't think of the word. I'll think of it once we're off of here, but yeah. <laughs> Square footage. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't know. So this one's going to go down in here. So I'm going to stick down the wire first. And then I'll bring my glue gun over. And I'm probably just going to put a couple of um, tails around the bottom and just use the four inch, the four inch ice cream cone ribbon. Real estate, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Could not think of it, oh my goodness. Good thing I'm not a, uh, <laughs> an agent, whatever. <laughs> oh look, my ball fell out, good gosh. I'm glad it fell out now and not when I'm shipping the dang wreath. My goodness. Yeah, I need a little more caffeine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, real estate. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Thanks for coming on <laughs> and joining in on the fun. See, this one is cordless too. So, and it's a sure bonder. I don't think the, um, the pink one's not a sure bonder, but the pink, um, glue pot is, but it says Grace Monroe on it. And it was, um, yeah, from her, um, oh my goodness. She gave, she sent the link out on her videos. God, y'all words are horrible right now. I don't know what it is. Because I'm live, that's why. Well, I'm glad I didn't glue that in because I didn't want that sitting like that. I want that sitting like that. Affiliate link. That's what I was looking for. Affiliate link. This one. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I'll put this one right here. <laughs> why did I say it like that? Right here. I, don't know. I hope Gail's not watching because she'll ride me like a dance beat. <laughs> I can just hear her right now. Y'all, do y'all have a best friend like that that <laughs> isn't afraid to tell you <laughs> you're an idiot? <laughs> oh my goodness. Cause my best friend, she's from New York. <laughs> She'll tell it like it is, but that's the kind of person I need. Yeah, she's fabulous. She's fabulous. Now it's just not, I'm gonna have to glue that to sit the way I want it to. Oh, it might be sitting good just like it is. 
And I'm just um, putting the wire around the frame of the wreath. The wreath is. Some people make it look so easy and then I get my fingers in there. And I have skinny long fingers, so I don't understand. <laughs> okay, Jean, have a blessed day. So y'all haven't answered me. What are you working on? What are you working on right now? Are you still doing some of patriotic cookouts? I just did a cookout with you. I love it. It's huge. Y'all, I'm hoping it sells locally because it's huge. I don't know if I have a box for it. I'm gonna glue this right there. I honestly don't know if I have a box for it. But we do live close to a Granger. <laughs> so we can pick up boxes from Granger. If need be, I haven't listed it yet, so. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about shipping for that sucker. <laughs> but I see people listing, you know, their items with their shipping, 35 and 40 bucks, so, and they're selling, so. You know. Some people got it like that. Now these little ones are. I'm going to put, save those for last. Okay. I got a whole, this is, oh, I didn't put this one secured yet. So we're going to secure this puppy down. I think it's good. I want it to sit like this, right? And I wanted it to sit like this. Like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna wire it in and then I'll glue it the way I want it to sit. Please be sure to spread the love. If you're having a good time, that is. I do have an Etsy, I mean, a YouTube channel as well. I'm on Instagram. I'm on all the places, probably like most of y'all. The attachments came from a pet store um, in Washington State. Burien, Washington is where my sister lives. And I got these a couple years ago. Yeah, they're, they're pet toys. Yes, they are. So don't squeeze them. <laughs> so if your customer shakes their box and they squeak, they'll be like, what the heck? Yeah, we. I saw them in there. I'm like, oh, oh. And so I got a whole bag full. And then I had to carry the, carry this whole bag full on the plane. <laughs> full of um treats. And then, oh my gosh, when I was in the airport, y'all. When I was in the airport on the way home from that, I think it was that visit. Look, I have to show you. Hold on one second. This was from inside the airport, in the airport, y'all. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> There's an ice cream store and they were selling these in there. Dylan's Candy Bar. So they, yeah, they sold candy and ice cream. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm getting that one too. So yeah, I was walking around with this bag and this big old ice cream. <laughs> I can only imagine what people were thinking. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Like, I'm a wreath designer, so leave me alone. Okay, let's see where we're going to put this one. This one, I think, is going to go right here on this corner. Yes, indeed. Yes. And then we'll start putting in some um, donuts and some ticks. This is a fun wreath. It's been sitting on my dryer for weeks the dryer is right outside my door the washer and dryer so 
So it's been sitting up there for a couple of weeks. I want this to sit like this though, so. Yeah. Have you? I have never heard of it until I was in the airport. But when I saw that ice cream cone, I was like, oh, I'm all over it. <laughs> all over it. And I just thought it was fabulous. So I cut this wire off. I cut that wire away too. Okay. Okay, I need a drink of water, y'all. Sorry. But yeah, so we put this huge table in and I still have some of my old shelving like on that side. So it's made it really crowded in here. So I'll slowly but surely I'm trying to get my stuff off my shelving so I can just take down that shelving and have all that space just to walk around and get to things <laughs> like the bathroom. <laughs> the bathtub in the bathroom because there's a bath this is a master bedroom a downstairs master bedroom and um <laughs> it had the biggest closet so the closet runs the whole span of the room so that's my christmas storage so i got this room plus it doesn't have carpeting in it the other master bedroom upstairs had carpeting in it so um hi michelle how are you Thanks for coming on. Please be sure to sprinkle. Um, we're making an ice cream wreath today. Having fun. Um, yeah, so the bathtub is filled with florals and um, batting. <laughs> the shower is filled with some overflow of Christmas. And I could just barely get to the toilet. <laughs> so most of the time I leave the room and go use the bathroom. <laughs> Pitiful, y'all. Pitiful. I keep telling my husband I want to take the bathtub out because that would just give me so much more room. Plus, it's like an old, deep, deep bathtub. You know, one of those big ones, but it's old. It's like old from like the 90s or so. But this place was built in 2003, so who knows? Anyway, um, let's put in some. Let's put in some of these. Um. Yeah. So I want to. I want to have the. That's I'm taking out. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you? Thanks for coming on. We're just using a bunch of um, doggy toys <laughs> in my ring. And this is a sign that came from my shop that we made. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I see what happened. Oh, the little marsh. See, I cut the top off. <laughs> Way too soon. So I'm going to have to figure out something. I'm going to grab one of my cherries and put a cherry on top. That way the thing can. There we go. There we go. There we go. If nothing else, we have become great improvisers, don't you think? When doing, when making wreaths, you just got to do what you got to do. I'm going to try to spread around some of this love. I do need to cut some. Oh, I'm getting squirreled again, y'all. I think I want to cut this up too. I'm so bummed that I only have two of these pink balls. I might try to find a blue one once we get off and I'll see if I can find a blue one. Stick a blue one somewhere or a green one. Probably I think I have mint green. But I think we'll take some of these. Please tell me y'all are still working on summer. I'm buying supplies for fall and winter. I mean, fall and Halloween. And digging up a lot of stuff that I didn't use last Christmas. So I know I say now that I have plenty of stuff for Christmas. But you know, I'll see something cute and buy it. Because that's just how I am. I'm getting less impulsive. I'll put it in my cart and think about it for minutes. <laughs> no, I usually give it a day and then uh, 
decide from there. I gotta look at this thing. See, that's what, that's the only thing I don't like about this table being so tall, is when I put a, when I put the easel on it, I cannot, and I can't <laughs> hardly see this now. But it's just an experiment, I mean, whatever. We can take those little risers down, it's not a big deal. But it feels good throwing one of the wrappers to these picks. I know. I know. July. I know. It's not even, well, it, it'll be May on Monday. But, whatever. Isn't this how we usually are? I know, Gail, you know, my best friend, she's like, I don't know if I like your profession. <laughs> you never get to enjoy the holidays. I'm like, yeah. Sometimes it's kind of poop, but but I gotta make all the pretties for a living. Come on. Right now, oh y'all, you gotta see these. I'm eyeing some bats, Michelle. I'm eyeing some bats because I got these cute little look at these, these cute little brooms. I have one in orange, too. I just can't reach it. <laughs> but look at how cute are those. These are from um, OOMM Creations, Out of My Mind Creations. Yeah, so I told you I'm starting to buy those. Just a little bit here and there. I am going to have to glue this down because it's driving me nuts that it keeps moving. That's one good thing about, well, one of the many good things about this fair silk ribbon. You can glue it and it'll stick and it won't burn the heck out of your fingers. <laughs> Y'all, I'm running low on time. Got 15 minutes. I can do this. I can do this. So I'm just sticking in little odds and ends here and there and everywhere. I gotta get some donuts. Can't forget my donuts. Cannot forget my donuts. I'm gonna go under here so something's sticking out. Just in case, you know, when the wind blows and your bow goes up on your customer's door. I'm gonna probably cut these tails down a bit because I don't like them hanging. But this set's good, this set, not so much. I'm going to stick in some donuts. Look, and these are cute little. And they're from like the kids section in Target. From a few years ago. So I'm going to cut the, only one of the has a thingy on it. So I'm going to cut that off. I don't know what. I guess that's some jelly sticking out or something. <laughs> that's all I can think of. So I'll put some of these on here too. What the heck? I'm gonna cover up some of this mash and these um, um, pine tines. So these I'm just gonna cover with a bunch of glue. And stick them on right down here. Excuse me. Yeah, I definitely need some ribbon around the bottom. So I'm gonna leave the bottom open so I can just put some tails. And I'm gonna use the um, ice cream cone ribbon. So if you see me not going down to the very bottom, that is why. See, I have these two. I don't know if that will be too much. These are the fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy ones. I had bought last Christmas. Aren't they fabulous? You might have to just make room for those. Make room. Yeah, these tails are bugging me, so they're going right now. I can't deal with them. 
cannot deal with them. They're too long. They keep getting caught on all my goodies over here. And I'll just kind of put a little bend in it. There we go. Let this stick out. I don't know. I'm going to scoot that over to the side. To the side a little bit. All these um, ribbons are really nicely wired. I'm going to cut this one down a little bit. I'll show you all in a minute. That's like the only one that's really not too good. Too stiff. But look at this. It's getting so cool and fun and fabulous. A couple of macarons left. Just a couple, so... Oh, Noelle just said, I'm out of here. So if you're going to hear something in a second, <laughs> you hear the door, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, girl. Come on, babe. Y'all, yeah, there's something else. When I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, look at these. <laughs> Saw these. I couldn't even wait for them to go on sale. I'm like, these are so stinking cute. Look at those. They have, and then they have one with red, white, and blue on it. Look. And we have a sign that we made that has, goes perfectly spectacular with those. So you're going to see that coming up soon, too. Yes, indeed. I wonder if this will twirl a little bit. Aren't those so cute? Hi, Kim. How's your dog? Is everything okay? I hope so. Nothing worse than your baby. No. Oh, Noelle's back. What'd you do, girl? Give me a frozen styrofoam. And that's okay, baby. <laughs> it's okay, boo boo. Let's stick this one right here. And then we got one there and there. So one's got to come down here. Oh, picked up the wrong one. Oopsie. So one's going to come in down here. I'm going to go right in here. Have that stick out. What a I've been dying to make this, y'all. Dying, seriously. I don't know why I let it just go so long. Because I kept going, I want to I wanna do it live. And then I go, I don't want to go on. I'm so bad. I am so bad. I don't know why. Because I can talk my head off. Surgery went well. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, God. Yes, that's awesome. Nothing worse than your baby not doing good. I'm going to glue my pot. I'm going to put this up here. Somehow. Right here. Yeah. So it stick out a little bit anyway. Where did I put the other one? Oh, there we go. So we got one, two, three. All right, we'll put one down here. I'm just going to glue it. I want to make sure I leave. Here, I'll put it right. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, y'all. How do you forget that glue runs? And it runs down right on your finger. I gotta put some stuff up here. Oh my goodness, that does not feel good. Sorry for the squeal. That's what I'll do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll put it we'll put a pretty ball right here. Let's get a green one. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> Almost escaped some words. 
beautiful. I love this one. Guess what? I think this one will go down here. So I'm glad I really did the 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 mesh beforehand <laughs> and then the bow and everything. Cause um takes me a hot minute to make a wreath, y'all. And then I see like people like Amy and Angel and all that. You guys whip it out just like that. I'm like, well, hello. But they have been doing it for like twice as long. Two times longer than I have. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yes, I'm on my tippy toes right now. See, something around here. Needs something like right there, I think. Yeah. Or right here. No. Now, I still have those little bitty um, ice cream cones, too. This one just needed to go right here. I'm going to put a cherry on this little pick right there. Because I cut it before I thought about what it was doing <laughs> so I'm gonna put one of these here like that because it needed something right there just like that oh I put the seam out there we go <laughs> there we go and then I got this one so I have the strawberry and chocolate over here I gotta hold this up for a second, y'all. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I need something over here, but there's they're identical. Oh well. Mama and baby, right? And that'll help hold this bow up. There we go. So now all I have to do, I don't know if I'm gonna put my trash cans down there. If you're wondering why I keep going down there. I don't know if I should cut these, y'all. What do you think? Do I need to put the curly cues in? Remember, I'm gonna put, um, I've got five minutes. So I'm gonna put this ribbon around the bottom sticking out. Just that ribbon, not the stripe, just the ice cream cone. But what do you think? What do you think? Look at how fun. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right? Yeah. What do y'all think? Do you like it? I think it's fun. I might put some like one inch pink ribbons up here. Just to put a little accent or something in there. But I don't think I need this, do you? Let me know what you think. I know there's a lag, but I'm so impatient. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, Jan. Thank y'all. Do you think I should put these in there or does it need it? I don't know. So don't forget to go over to Young Oma's Wreaths with Cece. She's up next at two o'clock. We still got five minutes, so. No curly cues, that's what I thought. Okay, I thought so too. If they do show up, don't be mad. But yeah, I'm gonna start cutting some of these tails to go um, around, just around the perimeter on the bottom, just because I think it needs it, because it only has that bow, and I'm gonna glue this down a little bit more right there. I might put another little donut right there, but this is what I'm doing, you know, this is, this turned out super cute. Not to blow my own horn, but you know, <laughs> sometimes we got to. So I'm just going to cut some tails. I'm not going to measure. And just place them, you know, around the perimeter on the bottom. room y'all I'm in heaven 
So I am going to make, I'm not going to go right at the center. I am going to, and I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to make one side shorter than the other. So one can stick up and one will hang down because I'm going to put this one right up here on top, up at the top. If I can find a pine time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I had to dig deep for that puppy. I glued a donut to the one I was supposed to leave open. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. It all worked out okay anyway. So this I'll kind of stick up like that, and then this one I'll have sticking out like that. If I have to shorten it, I can, but you know, I don't know what it looks like standing up, so <laughs> here we go. We'll look. Yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do. Just put some here and there around the bottom. Y'all be sure to go check out Young Oma's Wreaths. She makes fabulous, hopefully she, um, resin. She works with resin, great. So um, maybe she'll be making something with resin today. I wanna to thank you all for coming in and saying hi and spreading the love for me. It was good to see some people I hadn't talked to in a while. Um, I really appreciate y'all. You have a blessed weekend and um, I'll see you next week. Y'all have a wonderful Friday, bye. Bottom right, my husband's turning off my phone.